How we doing? It's uh, we're still skimming here with the box. We did all the sidewalls down here this morning, and now I'm going to show you the video of the 12-inch box that we're going to run on the ceiling. Now, first thing we'll do. I don't sand between coats. A lot of guys do, but I don't. I try to get my lap marks, just one lap mark per flat or so, and we'll scrape it off like this. If you look up there, we'll just give it a quick scrape. And that's all That's all we'll do. Instead of coming back through and dusting off the whole house. And this just allows us to keep going. I turned it up to a one setting, and uh, if he checks it with the knife, you'll see why. The tape tech box, when I first got it, the the bar here was real super flat so even if you put an adjustment on it it wouldn't leave much mud so i had it re-bent down at the guys at east coast drywall they bent it up and now i'm using it on a one or a two depending on how full the bed coat is off the uh dependent spot so this is pretty easy you stick it up in the corner and you go now there's the example of one that wasn't that wasn't uh hold on you it wasn't straight. You can see the little bump right there if they're not scraped. Now, he's gonna have to scrape that a little bit because what it'll do is create a, it creates a bump in the flat. So, I like to do these prior to boxing everything, but in this case, we decided to make the video. So I'll run this one one more time. It doesn't take much. It leaves just a little bit of mud. Everything should be flat. And there's a lot of good hand finishers out there. I'd like to think myself as one of them. Eli's very good at hand finishing. But for speed, this is by far the fastest. And because we wipe it down, it keeps them nice and smooth. Now check that. You see, they're perfectly flat. If you look at his blade, there's 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 really no rocking in there. Mm, I need one more too. So, I'm going to show you how we tie in the flat and the bud joint here. I'll run this flat. Now, it is nice to have somebody to wipe down. If I didn't have somebody wiping down, I'd be on stilts doing this myself. As you saw from the 10 inch box video. Now, I like to run all 
the way through my beads also. Because a lot of times, especially when using butt board, there's a, there's a little indention. And put the bead on, you want to fill that. So that when you run across your bead now, the butt joints are going to be dry by the time I get to the corner beads. And I'll be able to just go right across those without leaving any marks on them. Now, the other thing is, you know, if I was hand running this house with angles, I would run my flats, my butts, my beads, and then my angles. Now the reason I run my angles last is one, you're using a smaller knife. And when you go through these corners, you see these corners here? Now this is run with a mud shot, but you see it's a little sloppy, okay? So I'm gonna detail this out, but I'm gonna run that bead. And when I run that bead, it's gonna fill that void, as you see, okay? So it might be an hour running beads. I might start here, I might start somewhere else. But where that bead meets the wall, you're gonna have that little indent. So you fill it, you go across, then you come back on your angle when I'm picking the last of my three ways for this. And I'm gonna be able to make that straight looking and clean up any goobers that are in that corner. Whenever you run your beads, you're always gonna leave some kind of little goober because you're trying to go fast. You're trying to get them done. There's usually a lot of them in a house or a commercial job. And the last detail I wanna use is a smaller blade because it also allows me to go through while I'm doing that, spotting my screws, filling my angles there. I can see any blemishes in the board to take care of them at that moment. So that when I'm ready to sand the house, it's completely done and it's really easy to sand. Anyway, um, that's the process. The next video I'll have will be skimming corner beads in this house and then uh, tightening up the three ways and the skim coat will be finished. You guys have a good day and uh, I'll talk to you later.